September in Zotwa were dining at a five-star restaurant. When the food arrived, Temba said, our food is here, darling, let's eat. Zotwa reminded him, honey, you always pray when we at home before dinner. And Temba replied, that's at home, my dear. Here, the chef knows how to cook. Good evening and welcome to Talk with Rams Live. We are on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook Live. Thank you for choosing to join us. Thank you also to those of you who make the effort to like our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We don't take that for granted. It is Opportunity Tuesday, and we have a jam-packed 30 minutes of solid online content for you. Do not blink. As usual, we start with the quickie, which was pre-recorded. So to those of you who are watching us on Instagram, this interview is on IGTV as we speak. It's labeled the quickie. Please watch it now and reconnect at the end. Talk, Talk with Rams, Rams is a is platform, platform created, created for you. you. It is a, a platform, platform created, created to promote, promote support, support and celebrate entrepreneurship in particular small, medium, and, and micro enterprises. It is for this reason we ask you to be part of this platform. Tell us about your business, tell us about an amazing enterprise, share stories about enterprise development, and tell us about companies doing amazing stuff. Subscribe to our So earlier today, I had a chat with uh, Martin Masitisi, and uh, he's uh, an award-winning engineer and inventor with more than 10 years of experience in mining, energy, and manufacturing sectors. He's managing director of Musalifi Engineering, and they are our quickie tonight. Martin, good evening, mate, and thank you so much for the opportunity to chat to you. Good evening, Rams, and good evening to your listeners. So if you and I were in a taxi and, and three or four more other people, because you can't be 16 anymore, and we're wearing masks, and you're about to get off in three minutes, and I asked you, tell me about Mosalif Engineering, what do you tell me? I now know Passion, that growth, excellence. Uh, that's how we go about. Uh, we are a manufacturer of roof support uh, products. We supply mines in chrome platinum, and now also venturing into gold and other minerals. We supply safety critical components uh, that uh, protect the miners underground uh, mm -hmm. to, to, to uh, stabilize uh, the strata and prevent falls of ground. You know, uh, the guys underground work under very, very challenging circumstances. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, safety is of paramount importance. You know, with the, with the department of uh, the DMR and the recent stats on fatalities, uh, the product that we supply is critical. In enabling yes. them to to reach their targets. If you could explain it to me, like a a, a two year old, what are we talking about with these safety structures? Is it nets? Is it, is it some, some kind of mesh wire? What is it? That? Say yes, you know quite a bit with the components, components used. So, so underground, underground, imagine you have rocks. So, so the, the deeper, deeper you go, it's five hundred meters down. You have yeah, solid okay, rock. Got it. After, After you, you blast, blast, you excavate, you still have loose rocks and you've destabilized the ground. Mm -hmm. So to ensure so that as you progressively the, mine, the you video started deeper, with the, uh, with the, the loose rocks that you've destabilized, which you have to work underneath, uh, that you not collapse on. Uh, that's what we supply. So it's anchors that you drill I'm happy into to come back without the problem so that we don't touch it. But the good thing is that when Lara comes back, no, 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 don't be. I thought when she comes back, it holds a new so essentially, the and unstabilized and rock means safe, safe uh, for your miners to work underneath, underground. <laughs> when did you guys establish the business? Uh, the business was established in 2017. Excellent. We, you got us into uh, a panic through, there. Through my employment there, yeah, established a good relationship with uh, different right. mining houses. Great. Right. Uh, I, I was, I was, uh, and at the time, I was saying to Marie, when I went through the website, left, you... an opportunity arose where they had a specific challenge with uh, roof support conditions. Uh, they had some challenges. Because sometimes your strata or your roof uh, becomes so unstable that you need unique solutions. Uh, and I was contacted. From there, 
community arose uh, from where we developed and uh, three almost four years later we are now a team of 36 and you develop your own product so it's not a it's not you're not procuring from china and and, and supplying to the mines a hundred percent you know like i said passion growth excellence the passion element of it is the product development we actually do our designs we actually hold some patents our most recent patent that we filed in the uk um, um, which which we believe has great potential beyond the borders of south africa so in our design a part of our 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 strength and our arsenal is is the investment in the design and continuous improvement uh, hence the patents and we continue to develop and are growing even more this is your time to boast. Who are some of your clients? Uh, like I said, JSE listed. Uh, we've got Anglo, we, we've got Glenco, uh, Samanko, Royal Bafugeng, uh, Sianda Bahatla. We also do exports as well to Zambia on some of uh, the copper mines. Wow. Uh, um, uh, to, 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 to name a few. Uh, yeah. but we constantly, we are on a constant drive, you know, looking for new clients. Uh, uh, new partners, you know, we work with big organizations like the CSIR for our testing and verification. Uh, we, we also do have some partnerships with, with Avenge. Uh, so our strategy is multi-faceted, you know, there's an element of uh, localization also driven by the mining charter. There's an element of uh, the product development where we want to be the market leader in what we manufacture and produce mm -hmm. uh, there's also an element of strategic partnerships where we look for uh, partners who can um, complement uh, what we do and what we supply my second last question very controversial are you getting these clients because you guys are so innovative doing amazing stuff you produce great stuff or is also because they're lacking uh, on the be side and if they have mutalifi then they will do well with be or is it both mm -hmm. Uh, I tell you what, Rems, actually contrary to that, uh, in the mining space, you know, as a young black player, so one faces two challenges. Uh, one is yes. being used, uh, and two is, is not traditionally uh, being structured the same as your other big organizations are. Uh, so so the, one faces a bit of resistance at times. I mean, my competitors are not necessarily BEE compliant. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there is a drive from the mines to support uh, you know, complying companies, but it does not happen all the time, unfortunately. Mm. Uh, so in the procurement structures, you know, it, it's a constant challenge. It's a constant battle. Uh, so, so hence our strategy to, to be multifaceted, multifaceted in that our product, we make sure that it's a leading product in the market, which with, with whichever competitor that we compete against. Uh, of course, you know, the PEE score that, that should be acting in our favor, but more often than not, uh, it, uh, it actually does not. And another element, you know, on our marketing, uh, our marketing side and how we position ourselves in the market, the brand, um, Clalifi as a brand, you know, the passion, growth, excellence, like I said, mm -hmm. we, we, we also utilize that. And again, being creative about the local element that we are dynamic, you know, our culture, we understand the locals uh, better. And we use that uh, to our advantage as well. Uh, I must say it's a challenge. So the same challenge that you would experience yes, as uh, a, a non-EE -E company, company, we experience that, but probably more. You know, a barrier, uh, like, like I said, said of not traditionally, traditionally conforming uh, to, to what, what the supplying companies are. You know, it can be in terms of race, in terms of culture, uh, but moreover, again, being youth. Uh, that people look at me. Mm. I may say I'm a mechanical engineer with a master's degree, professionally registered, but to yeah. some people it might not be enough. I might still be too young to be supplying products that uh, that protect uh, uh, people's lives underground. Well, God ultimately saves lives, but we we, we have our contribution to that. Excellent. So, uh, how do then people get hold of Mosalifi Engineering? Mustalifi Engineering, uh, we have a website uh, which explains our products. Uh, that's www.mustalifi.com. You can also reach us on info at mustalifi.com. And uh, yeah, we, we, we are available as well on, on, on social media. Mustalifi Engineering is our Facebook handle. Excellent. Martin Masiti, thank you very much, Managing Director of Mustalifi Engineering. I have no doubt, mate, that your clients know about your excellence. I have no doubt that there's going to be huge growth 
and tonight I've seen your passion. So you live up to that mantra. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rams. Thank you, Rams. Thank you for the opportunity. I'm back again. So welcome back, everyone, on all the platforms. Thank you very much for watching that beautiful, beautiful story of uh, the engineering company. So let me remind you that now you can send us voice notes. We know we're moving with the times. So 067271-8239. It's our WhatsApp voice notes line. Use it only for voice notes. Freddie told me I made a mistake yesterday. Only for voice notes. You can, however, send us emails on admin at talkwithrams.com. Talkwithrams.com, admin. So don't send it at .co.za. Somebody will, uh, will get your messages for us. Not that it exists there. Please avoid, I'm gonna say this very lightly, as light as I can, avoid sending me private messages on Messenger. I am not on Messenger, folks. So if you want to communicate with the show, use the admin at talkwithrems.com email. And we'll always show the email on the, on the, uh, on the platform as we go along. Now then, let's get back to Opportunity Tuesday. Cape Innovation and Technology Initiative, CT, has conceptualized a program called Women in Business, which aims to create an, empower, uh, an empowering atmosphere for women who are eager to infuse technology into their business. To tell us more about Women in Business is a good friend of mine, somebody I have known for quite a while, who's got an amazing story to tell, which I had forgotten. Lara Rosmarin in Cape Town, good evening. Good evening, Rams, and thank you so much for inviting me on your show today. I was telling Rams um, before we went live that one of the first radio interviews I ever did was on Rams' show um, in the studio in Auckland Park late one night in Johannesburg, and I remember it was so cold. So I dressed well from the waist down, and I think I was half in pajamas and slippers. It was so freezing, and coats, and it was dark, and the parking lot was empty, and we, we had such a great time during that interview. And it is the start of a great friendship because we've done many it, together since. Um, exactly. But you always remember your first radio interview and it was many years ago and you were very kind. So um, oh, thank you so much, Lara. Interview. Thank you. I was pleasantly surprised when I made this uh, request for this interview with your office and they mentioned your name and said, Lara, like, wow. I was so happy. And I'm rather worried though about the coincidence of always talking to you when it's cold. We need to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> That's becoming so, a trend. It's becoming a trend. So thank you for is. having me on the show and thanks for being open to hearing about our Women in Business program and City. But let's start with City. Give us an, an, an overview of who City is and what you do. So City stands for the Cape Innovation and Technology Initiative. We're an NPO and our mission is really to build an inclusive future proof society through digital transformation. And we do this by working together with business, with government and society. And we really focus in three ways. One is through entrepreneur development. The other is through job readiness and, and skills development training. And the third, third pathway is, is through our clusters. But I think the main focus here tonight is what we're gonna talk about is our entrepreneurial development. And I think your particular interest was in our woman in business. Yes. Tell us more As about you that. Know, Rams very well, the, really, the Women in Business program. That is really a, a main focus for me. And I have a passion for empowering women. And this program that has been conceptualized by City does just that. So, so what we know is that entrepreneurship is quite a lonely space often, especially when you are working as a single entrepreneur in a business by yourself. And you don't really have anybody to bounce ideas off. No, not everybody has a mentor or a coach or, or some sort of support. So we create the, created the Women in Business program. It's, its official name is actually Top Tech Tools for Women in Business. And okay. what this program aims to do is empower women-owned businesses with the correct tools that will enable them to operate in this world of digital transformation and in the gig economy. So we're looking for women who are already in business, um, have some experience about being in business. They don't necessarily have to be 10 years down the journey, just some experience of being in business. We're looking at their business owners and they're looking to move their business to the next growth checkpoint in their journey, but using digital transformation to do so. Brilliant. Now, that sounds very easy for me to understand, but the, the first thing that comes to mind is that, then what happens once they are selected? What is the program? What is the, what is the nature of the program? 
So the nature of the program is obviously, as you mentioned, they'll go through a selection process. There are some criteria because we want to ensure that the women who are in the room are going to benefit from learning from each other. So it really is, is important to ensure that the mix of women in the room is correct. And they will come on and there is a 10 week program, which in the days before COVID was a face to face learning interaction of workshops. We are very, very lucky that we've been able to run the program uninterrupted um, on platforms like Zoom. So we continue to do that. And every week is a different module. It perhaps yeah. may be a finance module, finance tools to help your business, marketing online tools to assist your business, social media tools to assist your business, all the things that you would need as a woman to take your business into the gig economy and into the digital era. So we run this program for the 10, 10 weeks. And what's really great is that the women get to interact with each other. They get to act, interact with amazing business people, success stories. It's really a platform of shared learning. And by the end of the program, they would have put together a tech strategy for their business going forward. Um, after the 10 weeks, we know that everybody leaves the program so excited. They've had 10 weeks of interaction with everybody and they really want to you know, kind of put their foot down and really take their business forward. But we wanted to ensure that they had a supportive environment post those initial 10 weeks. So after the initial 10 weeks of program, we run what is a, a 10 month online program where there is more, more business skills and, and a group skills that these women will be able to develop. And again, once a month, there'll be a different module. And what I think is the magic of these modules is that the women aren't able to do the modules at their own time. We know everybody's busy. So they're able to go online and do these modules when it suits them. But we have a once a month session, a group mentoring session that is facilitated by a mentor and, and a business coach who's able to take them through the nuances of that module where the women will get to share experiences and chat with each other. Another amazing part of our program is that we have a coaching component where we mm. ensure that the, the women that come on the program are assigned a coach that is able to help them through all the growth checkpoints in their particular journey and to discuss the things that are just specific to their business and to help them move forward. So, Lara, this is not a 10-week program. That's probably classroom 10-week, but it's a very long program. And, and I feel that that's where the substance is. It's not just 10 weeks and you get out. You actually live in this program for a while, maybe for a lifetime. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and what has been so amazing about the city is, is they have also created an alumni program um, that, that city has put together with, with the help of Mariki Engelbrecht, who heads up our, our marketing team. And she's really done an amazing job of creating a platform that once you become part of the city family, and once you've been involved with the city, you remain a part of our, part of our team and a part of our ecosystem for, for mm. many, many years to come. So, so once you've come into the fold, you really, really, well, well our experience is that people want to stay and, and continue to remain engaged with us going forward. How long has Women in Business been running for We've been running Women in Business for many years, Rams. It started out as just a 10-week program, which ended mm -hmm. with certificates and a beautiful lunch. And then women kind of went back to the way of work, um, using their new skills and tools. And we just thought that we, we have this amazing opportunity to work with these amazing women. Let's give them as much as we possibly can. And, and let's work with them as, as, as deeply as we can for as long as we can to ensure success. And as I mentioned earlier, Entrepreneurship is often a lonely road. And what we've seen is even outside the program, many of the women um, that have come with the program have built groups together, they advise each other, they procure services from one another. So a really lot of great offshoots have happened mm -hmm. from what started out as a 10-week workshop-based program. So how many do you pick per year? So uh, how long is a piece of string? So it all oh. depends on the funding that we have available. Um, yep. We're going to be running another four cohorts this year, um, at least. So we have really do have room for a lot more women. Um, yep. since, since I think since April, we've had over 450 applications, but we are really encouraging women to continue to apply. And, and we are going to go out there and continue to It's amazing, amazing. So they can apply rams on our website. Um, I'm sure you'll put Let's that not up go later. There yet. Let's, let's not go there. We'll give them a Okay, details. okay, 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 um, okay. I'm still having okay, fun here, Lara. I'm still okay, having fun. Okay, okay. So over the years, what are some of the things that you've noticed that have been takeouts for some of these women? And have you seen some 
upward trajectory of growth in some of them. Of course, it can't be all of them, it's normal. You know, we've seen some amazing growth. When you give somebody the correct tools and when somebody is open to learning and, and open to gaining new insights and new perspectives, it's amazing what can happen within these businesses. You know, we find that also confidence has a lot to do with where women are in business. And sometimes, you know, a small business is perceived as just that. Wow. And when you lift the lid on, on people's kind of take their, their minds out and bounce it on the floor a few times, add some amazing ideas and put it back. They've got a completely different perspective. And with yes. help and support and guidance, they can drive very, very far. And we've seen amazing, amazing things. I mean, just recently, um, we did some profiles on some of the women that have been on our, our program, the profiles in the media, and the response has been amazing from various places to say, we'd love to procure from you. We'd love to work with you. We saw your post. Um, how can we get in touch with you? And this has just been incredible, absolutely incredible. Does the corporate world respond when they see this kind of program? Do they come in and say, wow, we'd like to buy services or products from these people that you guys train and mentor? So that is the hope. That is the hope, Rams. And um, the hope is that more corporates will start to procure from small businesses yeah. and, and more co corporates will start to support small businesses because that is what we need to grow. And we know that the economy is dependent on the growth of small businesses. And yes. um, so the more small businesses we can develop and, and the more direct line um, into the big chains or, or into the procurement processes, the better for everybody. It's, it's a rising tide of small ships. Now, Lara, and I, I probably speak for myself here, uh, and I hope actually I only speak for myself, but at the best of times, technology can be very daunting. Do you find that, you know, some of the entrants come in, they panicking about how they're going to be managing with this huge world called technology, but once they've had the hang of it, they all, you know, cruising and they enjoying it, they find that these tools in their own hands can do amazing stuff for their own businesses. I think you are spot on. Everything that you said rings true. It is very daunting when everybody arrives on day one. Um, many are really used, still using invoice books. Um, some people have not used any online accounting tools. Um, so it really is daunting. But yeah. the facilitators that we have chosen have been chosen because they are patient and they're great teachers and they themselves had to learn new things and new tools. So I think once they come into the environment, it's such a warm and welcoming environment. And not only the facilitators help one another, the participants help one another. And we have a huge, huge support built around, around these women that come on our program. So nobody needs to feel um, inadequate or that they aren't gonna be able to manage. Um, you will all manage and where you can't manage, we will help you and we are here. So, so fear need not be a reason for, for not applying to this program. Absolutely. On that note, then, Lara, on that note, how do they then apply? And I can tell you, uh, once we went on promos and told people about this thing, all the women of the world wanted to join in. So how do they apply? Great. So they can go onto our city website, which I'm sure you'll put up, and they can yeah. apply on our website. Um, if for some reason you can't link onto the website, we've got a Facebook page. Um, you can drop us a message there. Um, we are on Messenger. Rams is not on Messenger. But you can send us messages and we can pass it on to him if you want. Um, but yeah, so there, there are many ways, ways to get hold of us. But the website's Lara, probably best. Great stuff. And we, we, by the way, as we speak with you now, the website is on the screen so they can see it. But we also repeat those details at the end. Correct. I have always loved the work that you do. And I'm so glad we reconnected. And I know this is the beginning of a new journey between uh, City and Talk with Rams. Thank you so much for tonight. Absolutely. Thank you, Rams. Thanks. Always a pleasure. And always so, so hope wonderful. to see you really soon. Great stuff. Guys, do apply. Go into the website and make sure that you apply. Uh, this opportunity is for you. Please make use of technology and get to the next level. So uh, last night, Dr. T made a generous offer to buy his book at 50% discount. Please look out on all our platforms tomorrow. We will publish all the details and the conditions to qualify for that discount. There are some uh, conditions folks Dr. T did not explain to you. We will give them to you in detail. I'm gonna end on a very sour note. Uh, Freddie has just been fired. I've been told that 
when uh, we were playing the tape of the pre-recorded interview, he did not mute our conversation in the background. So all of you guys were listening to all of us talking all the horrible things because Freddie failed in his job. So he's summarily fired. He won't be doing the show tomorrow evening with me. Thank you very much for joining us. Tomorrow we have a chat with our uh, customer sales, uh, customer service coach, Tammy Banda, and you want to hear that conversation. It's actually unconventional customer service chat. From me, Rems Mabote, and not Freddie uh, Mabizela, good night and God bless. <laughs>